Mr. Reader, if you yeah. feel you feel under pressure, am I right? Is is that because of something that you know? Yes. Well, no. Uh, general pressure. I feel under a, a sort of just the, it's the jitters of work. Who leaked the email, Mr. Reader? Glenn uh, Cullen. Uh, he uh, was in Dosak at the time, and he uh, still had access to the email. He hated his life, and he, he, you know, he hated Nicola Murray because she uh, previously uh, uh, destroyed his chances of standing as an MP. Uh, Most helpful. Glenn Cullen is our next witness. Most interesting. Oh, uh, well, Thank you. OK. That's fine. Thank you. Mr Cullen. <coughs> Uh, um, I wonder if I could start by taking you back to that time two years ago. You left Nicola Murray and you went to work for Fergus Williams. Yes, yes, I did. That's and right. then you found yourself um, in a coalition with the very party that you opposed. That must have been extremely distressing. Uh, no, not at all, as a matter of fact. I, I was very invigorated by the idea of uh, trying to forge a new way in, in politics. Mm -hmm. So all was rosy? Well, um, can't think of any negatives. <laughs> no friction. No, the only F word was fun. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr Cullen. Thank you. Uh, Mr Cullen, would you say there's a, a, a culture of, of leaking in the government? Yes, I would, yes. Leaking and lying. To your knowledge, have any of your colleagues lied to this inquiry? Well, I mean, that's a bit like asking, you know, um, does a cow drink milk? Does it? Probably. What I meant to say was, uh, yes, um, my colleagues lie constantly. It's a professional necessity. Have you ever leaked, Mr Cullen? First of all, may I just say, uh, welcome back, Baroness Sareka. Big hugs. I I'm sure I speak for everyone here wh when I say that we're all thinking of you. Uh, and, uh, I'd you have been rather you um, swap the ham-fisted flattery for actually answering my question, which was, have you ever leaked? Right. No, it's a very simple question, and it's got a very simple answer. No, I haven't. Um, you'll be aware of Ollie Reader's testimony to the inquiry where he said that uh, you were, in fact, responsible for the PFI leak. Yes, I am. But, which would mean to say I am aware of, of that. But, uh, gosh, you've got to be... Careful what you say here, haven't you? You most certainly do, Mr Cullen. Let's hope we're both up to it. Is there any truth at all in Mr Reader's accusations? Absolutely none whatsoever. He's talking out of, it, out of his other cheeks, if you... Why would Oliver Reader suggest that you were behind the PFI email leak, then? I've absolutely no idea. It's very difficult for me to, to get into the mindset of somebody so entirely self-serving and um, spiritually ugly. I mean, anyone who's been unfortunate enough to have come across Ollie Reader will know that he is a genuinely atrocious person. Um, mm. Do you believe Mr. Reader was trying to cover himself? In well, case? I do believe he has the emotional tools for the task, yes, certainly. Do you believe that Ollie Reader was behind the leak? No. You see, a, a leak of this magnitude would require one essential item that Ollie lacks, and that's a spine. He's a man without a spine. He is a man-worm. He's a writhing mollusk without any strategies or convictions. He, he simply slimes his way into the nearest crack every night, and I would like to put on record that I apologize to this committee for being the man who brought him into the world of politics. <laughs>